Okay, before I sell this on eBay, I thought I'd take a, <laughs> take a video of it. It's a really cool optics thing. Uh, it's made by a company called New Focus. And this kind of put them on the map um, of cool gadgets to hold optical pieces. So this one has uh, adjustments so you can, uh, you can tilt it. So it has a X and Y tilt and then another tilt. So um, it allows you to adjust mirrors. Um, the other thing that you might want to do is you might want to hold a lens and you might want to tilt the lens and hold it. And one of the problems with lenses is to, is to uh, keep, them, keep them concentric with the rest of the optical elements and stuff. So this has this really cool mechanism here, okay? And it allows you to grab round objects. And uh, irregardless of the size of the round object, the center will always be in the same place. And it's got this really wild curve here and curve here. And then it's got this weird pivot thing that moves the whole thing. So it's, it, 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 it's pretty wild. Um, and there's a uh, patent, I haven't looked up the patent number, that probably tells you, tells you the mathematics of how this thing works. But I thought we'd, uh, thought we'd give it a try here on screen, see if we really can see it staying concentric or not. So let's, uh, let's move the camera. Okay, I have it here in a vise, so it, it, it won't change relationships with the rest of the uh, video screen, so it'll stay put. So let's put a small object on here, and we can see where it's centered. Uh, now we'll increase in size here to this object, see where it's centered. And then we'll try this size, see if it's centered. And then we'll try something really big. Uh, let's see how it's centered. Anyway, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I have no use for it at all now, so I'm selling it. Um, but uh, I thought it was pretty cool in the day. It's got, oh, it's got some other locking, it's, uh, other writing on it. It says locking screws, so you can hold things down. There's the part number, 8954. Um, these adjustment school screws are pretty cool. They're uh, usually uh, 80 threads per inch or 100 threads per inch. They have really, really fine adjustments. And they're uh, usually stainless steel in brass. So there's a brass inset with the threads. And then a threaded stainless steel piece goes, uh, goes from there. Yeah, it's a cool little piece. Anyway, got to get rid of it.